Dr. Raja Iskandar Bin Raja Halid is an ethnomusicologist and senior lecturer at the Department of Heritage, Faculty of Creative Technology and Heritage, University Malaysia Kelantan, where he has been a faculty member since 2009. His research interests lie in the area of Malay performing arts with a focus on court music, post-colonialism, Islam, and popular culture. Hello, everyone. Music and dance have always played an important role in Sufism. Although a contested issue among religious scholars for centuries, music flourished in Muslim societies and was not confined within Sufi circles. Hamelun stresses that, quote, Sufi music never was a marginal sectarian phenomenon in the musical culture of the Muslim world. On the contrary, it constituted the main outlet for musical creativity in a religious context, unquote. It became an integral part in the practices of many tarikas or Sufi orders where sama or listening and dhikr or remembrance sessions are performed, accompanied by the singing of songs in praise of the Prophet Muhammad called Maulid or Hadra. The act of remembering and glorifying God, zikr, brings a person closer to Allah and praising the Prophet Muhammad or Salawat is a show of a Muslim's love and reverence for God's messenger. It is a way of cleansing the heart and is given more attention and devotion within Sufi circles around the world. In many societies, there are similar religious vocal performances called Qasida, Bazanji and Marhaban, which are the melodic recitations of the story of the Prophet Muhammad based on certain traditional Arabic texts or poems. These groups are often invited or hired to perform at these events and are getting more popular in cities among affluent Muslims. One of the most active and well-known Maulid groups is the Hakani Maulid Ensemble based in Kuala Lumpur. This group was initially formed to serve the Naqshabandiyah al aliyah Sheikh Nazim al Haqqani Sufi Tariqah, a branch of the well-known Naqshabandi Sufi order. Although the Naqshabandi Tariqah has been around for centuries in the Malay world without much contestation, this particular order has been ruled as deviant by religious authorities in Malaysia. However, this does not stop members of the Tariqah to conduct their religious activities, including the performance of the Hakani Maulid Ensemble. On the contrary, the ensemble began to perform extensively outside of the Tariqah's own secluded space to include public and private events and ceremonies. This paper looks into the percussion-based Hakani music Maulid Ensemble's negotiation between religious contestations and boundaries, artistic expression, and spirituality. This is the Hakani Mole Ensemble performing at the Sufi Lodge or Zawiyah in Kuala Lumpur in 2018. The, in the late 1980s, a new Sufi tariqah was introduced to Malaysia, the Naqshabandiya al aliyah Sheikh Nazim al haqqan Sufi order. Although the Naqshabandi tariqah is not new to the country, this particular Haqqani tariqah was a later addition to a long history of Sufism in the region. The Naqshabandi order can be traced back to the teachings of Muhammad Bahauddin Shah Naqshaban, a 14th century Central Asian Sufi scholar. 
The tariqah later spread throughout the Muslim world and was later known for its silent zikir as opposed to the vocal zikir generally practiced by Muslims. Malay communities along the streets of Malacca practice the silent zikir in performing the zapin dance in coordination with musical parts and bodily movements. This new branch of the Naqshbandi order was led by the late Sheikh Nazim Al Adil Al Qubrusi Al Hakani, a Turkish separate Muslim scholar and Sufi. Sheikh Nazim had a global following, and his disciples included royalties from Southeast Asia. One of his disciples was a young prince from the royal household of, household of Perak, the late Raja Ashman Shah. Raja Ashman or Kuash, to his close friends and family, was the second son of Sultan Azlan Shah, the 34th Sultan of Perak, and the ninth young Diputan Agung of Malaysia. He was the younger brother of the present Sultan of Perak, Sultan Nazim Shah, and fourth in line to the throne of Perak. Raja Ashman was also known as Sheikh Raja and given the posthumous title of Sultan al Kulub or the King of Hearts. In 1986, Sheikh Nazim was invited to the palace by Raja Ashman and a special zikr session called the Zikr Khatam al Khwajagan was performed. This zikr is performed before dusk on a Thursday or Friday night and is considered an important practice of the tariqah. Raja Ashman was later appointed as the caliph of Sheikh Nazim Haqqani of the eastern region and began gaining followers. According to Farah, the tariqah court considers themselves to be the royal tariqah, a virtuoso and elite religious organization stemming from the Ottoman Empire, unquote. Despite being seen as royal and elitist, the Tarika welcomes followers from different backgrounds, including urban youth on a spiritual migration or hijrah. The Tarika was also seen as a serious and secretive, yet porous and playful, and these combined features add to its mysterious intrigue and appeal. Some of them would even travel to London and several European countries to attend the Tarika's gatherings in the presence of Sheikh Nazim, Raja Ashman, and other Sheikhs. These early gatherings involved the usual vehicle session and but did not include any maulid songs and the playing of instruments. It wasn't until the introduction of the Hakani Maulid Ensemble from Malaysia that music began to be played at the Tarika's gatherings in Europe and Malaysia. The Hakani Maulid Ensemble started as a loose group of young Murids of Raja Ashman reciting the Zikir and Maulid in 1990. They began using the Kitab al Dibai brought, by, brought back by Raja Ashman from Brunei. Raja Ashman was a music lover and fascinated with Malay drums such as Kompang and Rabana. Both are single faced drums, usually made of nanka or jackfruit wood and good skin and traditionally played in Maoli and Hadra performances in Malay societies. The prince wanted to include elements of music into the Tarika's spiritual practices as a means for creating, to getting closer to God. Traditionally, Sufi music was performed to reach a heightened mental and spiritual state to experience a mystical union with God. The early members of the ensemble comprised of 10 to 15 male musicians and singers from different social and economic backgrounds. The inclusion of Maulid and Hadra into the Zikil gatherings attracted many young Murids or students into the movement. Hafizal, a member of the group, feels that music could soften one's heart and prevent a person from making harsh decisions. He was referring to the more extreme interp interpretation of Islam that prohibits music and it is often associated with Wahhabism, which opposes Sufism. The group was musically guided by Raja, Hash Raja Ashman himself. They listened to CDs from Syria and learned the Kompang in Malacca. Instruments used were the Rabana, Kompang and the Arab Darbuka drums. Later, Raja Ashman brought back the djembe drums he bought in London to add different timbres to the ensemble. Practice sessions began at different houses in Kuala Lumpur until a new Sufi lodge or Zawiya was established in Damansara, situated on the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur. 
These are some of the instruments used. Virbana, Kompang, and the Arab Drabuka drums at the back. And this is the group during a recording session. The ensemble attracts urban youth and some with a musical background, including playing of, of instruments and singing. Many of these youths were spiritually migrating or hijra from their previous lives. Zafir, an architecture student, was, quote, spiritually bankrupt when he joined the Tarika in the, 19, the late 1980s. As a guitar player, he loved jazz and rock, and the ensemble provides him with both musical and spiritual satisfaction. Another member, Hafiz, from Kuala Lumpur, joined the movement in 1995 after attending a gathering with Sheikh Nazim. He used to work in a discotheque and felt troubled and empty. The Hakani Maulid Ensemble grew to become a vibrant and energetic group and revitalized the traditional Maulid and Qasida. They believe that music is the easiest way to love the Prophet, a form of spiritual expression and, some, and a means of da'wah or, invited, or inviting people to Islam. Their music softens their heart, spreads love, and is appreciated by both Muslims and non-Muslims. The ensemble took three years of practice and exper experimentation to sound good. They also took lessons in Kompang for four years in Malacca. Instruments such as guitar, violin, clarinet, and flute were added later. However, these instruments were not played in the presence of Sheikh Nazim, possibly due to the generally accepted, accepted Islamic ruling prohib prohibiting the use of strings and wind instruments. Uh, they recorded two albums and began to get invitations to perform by members of the Tariqa. Performances for religious and non-religious contexts such as weddings, chuko jambul or shaving of a baby's hair, corporate shows, religious talks and appeared a few times on national TV. The Hakani Maulid Ensemble had their first international exposure when Raja Ashman brought them to London to perform in front of Sheikh Nazim himself in 1991. The ensemble gained the blessings of Sheikh Nazim and even inspired other groups from Pakistan, Turkey, Morocco and other Muslim countries to perform their musical interpretation of versions of these traditional songs praising the Prophet Muhammad. Besides Maulid, the ensemble also accompanies the Hadra, which involves rhythmic chanting and recitations of religious poems with bodily movements, which include whirling. The Hakani Maulid Ensemble has performed in the United States, the UK, Germany, Turkey, and Cyprus. This is the Kitab Dibai, a book of poems written by Abdul Rahman al Dibai, a scholar from Yemen relating to the life of Prophet Muhammad. This is the Maulid uh, performed at the Iskandaria Palace during a Tahlil session for uh, Raja Ashman. After the death of Raja Ashman, the Hakani Nashabandi Tariqa is now patronized by his sister Raja Alima Alina, sitting on the left. Although the Nashabandi Al Aliya Sheikh Nazim Al Hakani Sufi order may be religiously marginalized due to the existing fatwa against his teachings, his music ensemble is not. The Hakani Maulid ensemble, through its music, serves as an interface between the beauty of Islam and the rest of the world. Members came from diverse backgrounds on the journey of Hijrah, 
looking for spiritual fulfillment, fulfillment and enjoyment. As a Sufi sect, they accept the horizontal pluralism of cultures and religions that provides a different spiritual dimension of Islam. They are an antithesis to the creeping Wahhabi movement seen as a hardline puritanical version of Islam. The ensemble sees itself promoting good love, good vibes, love, trust and happiness crossing the boundaries of music, religion and race. It is on a religious mission to spread the love for the Prophet. As a member of the group said, quote, our music strikes the soul to soften it, unquote. It is a process of appropriation and modernization of an old tradition in a highly contested realm of religious space and power. Continued patronization by the Perak royal family gives them hope and security to continue with what they believe at, as the true path towards peace and salvation. Thank you. Thank you.